exciting. The vintage eight man fired. So we would love to play first. And no, we don't want to mulligan. <laughs> oh, I just love looking at these these hands. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to play a Mox Ruby. Then I want to play a Lumberjack. Then I want to play a Forest. And we got Shops. So we got a chalice for one and a thorn. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so I've got one, I've got six mana, right? This gets one, four, five, six. So survival plus using it um, hmm. to cast survival activate it once I think that I want to activate it twice so that'll be five mana and that leads me or leaves us just with like a noble hierarch for the last card and get squee that way. And then the next turn, like Anger Trigon. Um, Ooh, we we can't cast one drops. So then I guess it's just survival, pay one, get a squee, pay two, get an anger, pay three, get whatever we want, EOT. which I think is probably a Trigon. Then I could go like Magus of the Moon. What is this going to be? A Lodestone? A Tangle Wire. Hmm. So with a tangle wire, I don't think that we want to crack a land to survival. So I'm just going to upkeep. Activate
get squee. Activate. Get anger. Tap the jack and the ruby. Draw and pass. Don't know if you can hear my dog snoring or almost snoring. Okay, a smokestack. Well, now I have something to worry about. Um, we're going to lose three things to the tap. One, two, three. Then we have five mana still. Um, question is, do I want a forest or a taiga? I guess a taiga because we have an anger we want to keep it against this wasteland strip mine deck. Okay, now I can go Trigon versus Magus. Probably the Trigon. Let me think this through. Tap, tap, and then I've got three mana. And if we, if I leave up the lumberjack, it's five mana, but I can't play one drops. So that would just be like cycling a squee. So I think that the lumberjack gets tapped. Would love to use that ability. Let's haste out this and kill a smokestack. Now it could have been right to kill a tangle wire here. Not entirely sure. Okay, worm coil. Oh, I need to think this through. What do I have against a worm coil? Gilded Drake. Um, so I, I can attack, kill like the Mox, Gilded Drake and Magus. That is six mana. We have to tap two, so I've got six. I think that's probably fine. And then 
after that, let's think. What if I like attack the, with the trigon, kill the worm coil, and um, or I could like a, attack, kill the chalice. Like play a mana guy in a magist. I'm basically pitting. The worm coil. Against. I guess probably the Gilded Drake play is fine. Okay, I need to upkeep. Find the Drake. Hopefully draw a forest. Awesome. <laughs> okay, attack. Kill the Mox. Add a blue. Yay. Whew. Unsure of how. Mm over the game was, but it felt pretty over for me, I guess, or for the opponent. So we got four Ingachures, an Ooze, a Dragon, the Eidolon is terrible, the Aegis is terrible, the Missteps are terrible, Okay, so we got our ingot chewers. Now, playing normal stacks. Hmm. Teague only stops a couple things, but I think that's fine. It doesn't stop anything in this deck. Um. Like the Lava Mancer is kind of interesting. Revoker just stops mana, I believe. So, like, maybe I'd just rather have a Lava Mancer to kill Revokers or to kill Metalworkers, but I don't think this is a Metalworker deck. Probably okay to kill revokers though. Just thinking about the random mana disruption from revoker versus oozer dragon. I kind of think that I like another dragon instead of an ooze too. Okay.
Well, this hand certainly seems keepable. So as long as there's like no turn one lodestones. Ooh, this. <laughs> Oh, this could be pretty bad. What are we getting here? Lumberjack survival, which... Okay, survival, and... Oh, so the opponent is... on the Null Rod plan. I guess that's pretty weird, given what I just drew. I guess I showed a Mox last game. Okay, well that's gotta die. I'm thinking that maybe I should have um nice What was I thinking? <laughs> um, the ingot chewer versus the smokestack. Okay. Well, that means we definitely do not kill Nolrod. So I have six mana total. I can chew the revoker and um, cast the magus. Right? Yeah. Okay, so five mana. Let me think. If I... Play survival that costs three. Yeah, so there's no point in even playing survival right now. Just attack for three. Because I can't even get anything to cast. Um, since it's three mana for survival, one to search, that's four. And then two to cast whatever I would find. And I'd have to lose the storm breath for it. I think that means I just need to cast the Storm Breath. Hmm. 
Okay, so I, nope, no lodestone. And there's a clock, finally. So now lodestone is no longer scary. And it's just going to be, can I race before a duplicate? I think so. Yep. Well, there we go. Jacked off versus our first opponent. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll be back for round two.